Mike, thank you for braving this weather today. Absolutely. <laughs> Being out here with us. I'm so excited to hear about this Mack truck. First of all, this fits you. Yep. <laughs> it's fit me for a long time now. It's pretty on brand. It sounds like a 10 year old boy's dream to race a big <laughs> Mack truck. That just yep. sounds like so much fun. It is. And I was absolutely shocked when I saw that you drift this thing. I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can do a lot of things with 3,000 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, we do circle track racing and American Big Rig racing. We've done exhibition out here at Nashville Super Speedway and a lot of other places across the country. We've been with the uh, East Tennessee Drift uh, crew, drifting over to Holly Park. We've done events here with the Slide Factory, Turismo Drift, uh, we've done Arkansas Mile. We have a passenger seat in the truck. We've had a lot of people ride shotgun with us in different events and doing different editorial things. Um, and we show up at a lot of shows like Cars and Coffee here. The truck has done a lot of different things in the last 10 to 11 years. I've seen the resume. It's, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> so tell us about Big Rig Racing because yeah. I'm so intrigued. We have about 15 to 18 semi trucks right now. Um, we run primarily circle track, um, asphalt and dirt. And we race, we race, we race hard. You can see all the bends and the sheet metal on that truck and how many things are tore up. It's not a show truck, it's a race truck. It's not meant to be pretty, it's no. meant to be fast. We're meant to be fast and, and put on a lot of entertainment and a lot of racing and a lot of close racing. Pushing, shoving, sheet metal banging, yes, spin outs, yeah. Wow. A lot of different things have happened over here. So it's like the hockey of, of racing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's been some... There's been some bras. Yeah. Yes, yeah. there have been a few bras, and I've been part of a few of them over the years. I heard you talking to a spectator or a fan earlier, yep. and they were asking you about the road that got you here and the investment, and so take us through that whole process. Well, I originally started out as road course racing about 10, 11 years ago. Now, they brought something in called Champ Truck. It was supposed to be a cheap vehicle, cheap truck, cheap racing, a lot of entertainment. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we did. So basically, if you spent more than $30,000 on a race truck, you're doing it totally wrong. Okay. This is grassroots motorsports racing, 100%. Now that's 100. coming from a tech, so I yeah. feel like it's a little bit of a bias. No, <laughs> Can anybody do this for the, under most, 30 grand? Mo yes, okay. most, of the, most of the trucks in the series are way under 30 grand. How's your wife feel about that? It's been a long 10 years, but she's over there. She's uh, I see she's her. along with it. She looks very supportive. Yeah. You're I lucky guy. I met her drag racing, so I mean. Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're going to take me drifting in this thing later, I think, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, don't kill me. <laughs> We're ready. We're doing this right now. Whip heels. I tell you what I didn't think I was going to be doing today. It's going drifting in a Mack truck. <laughs> Cars and Coffee Exposed, presented by Eurable, the number one rated app for automotive detailers. If you want the best customer experience from your detailer, make sure they're powered by Eurable. Subscribe now and never miss an episode of Cars and Coffee Exposed.